Yeah. Okay, we're gonna record Aleph Bet. Aleph Bet is not the Aleph Bet that you learned in school because it's not Aleph Bet Vet. That doesn't exist. We're gonna record Aleph Bet the way we know it traditionally. Aleph Bet, whether it's Digusha or if we are, we pronounce it as Bet, as a B. Gimel Digusha, Gimel, when it's if we are. Dalit Digusha, or if we are, we pronounce it as a Dalit. He, Vav, Zayin, Hayat, Tayat, Tayat, it's a deeper, harder sound. Yod, Kaf, Digusha, Khaf, if we are. Lamid, Lamid, Wait. No, the Dalit at the end. Lamid, Lamid. Mim, Noon. Samach, Ayin, Pe, Degusha, Fe, Rifuya. So far, so good. Sodi. It's not a tsa, it's not a tsi, it's a tsa. Okay? A strong guttural double S sound. And Sodi. There's no kof at the end of it. Sodi. The next letter is kof. Resh, Sheen, when you have the dot on the right side. Seen, the dot on the left side. Final letter, digusha, or if we are, tev. Okay? Right, and transliterating. Transliterating, it all depends really upon the place and time that you're in. Transliteration, transliteration can constantly change. And you're really more interested in transliteration of the nikud more than in more than the, the consonant right. itself. So an aleph is going to be an a. Okay, but if your aleph has a sere or a segul, or a sheva, you're going to make it an e. Okay, so that's dependent. Your bit is going to be a b. Your gimel is going to be a g. Your gimel is going to be a gh. Right? Okay. G sound gh. Dalit d. He h. Vav v. Generally, yes, those people want to say there was a tradition to call it a wow or a waf. All right, if you have that tradition, wonderful. The only Jews that really strongly held that tradition till this very day are definitely the Yemenites, as well as the Baghdadians, and some possible, some Tunisians, what's, or what have you. There were definitely some people in Halab that said that they still had that tradition, which may be, but for the most part, that tradition didn't seem to have carried down to our centuries. Zayin would be a Z. Okay, back to the Vav, it's going to be a V. Okay, Zayin, Z. Hayat is a stronger H guttural, guttural sound. If you're writing it in a academic journal or what have you, it would be an H with a dot underneath. Okay, that's the way it's generally represented. Otherwise, you have to put just an H and the reader has to be aware that it's a Hayat. Not a Hayat. No. Okay. Tayat, same thing, would be a T with a dot underneath. Okay. You don't have it, you just put a T and you know, Those leave it up French. to leave it up to the person to figure it out. Yod is a Y. Kaf is a K. Khaf K H. Lamid L. Mim is an M. Noon is an N. Samach is a S. Ayin is an apostrophe A or apostrophe E depending on the Nikud again. Okay, you have to put that over there to differentiate from the Alf. P be a P, F, F. Saudi could be done either as a double S, and that's what's generally done colloquially. It's not T Z or T S. It's double S, okay? Or if in a academic journal, it'd be an S with a dot underneath. Qof would be a Q. Resh, R. Sheen, S H. Sin, S. Exactly the same as the samach. There is no difference whatsoever between the sound of a samach and a sin. Okay, Tav, T. Tav, Tav. Tav, Yod, Vav. Okay, then you'll have people tell you, no, the last letter is not a Vav, it's a Wow, or a Waf, so it's Tau. Okay, be like that. Okay, where people say Taf, so I'm a Taf. So those Taf people, it's basically they took the Vav and they mispronounced that Vav into an F sound. Because the V sound and the F sound come from the same spot, 
Okay, we know bumaf, right? The bed, the vav, the mim, the fe have the same area of sound in the mouth, correct? Good. So that should cover. And of course, you have alif lamid. Because I told you about alif lamid last time, and you seem to love alif lamid. And alif lamid was something that the printers used. It would appear in many different places, especially when you're writing uh, Yisrael and Elohim and things like that. You would, they would incorporate the alif lamid together. Even in the book I wrote for you today, the inscription, I put you an Alif Lamed. You didn't even see it. It's, okay. an, it's an AL? Let's show an Alif Lamed. Is it AL? AL, yes. Okay, where do we have the Alif Lamed? Again, this on tape over here. We're going to look for it. I remember putting one in here. And here, see, in my name, Yosef Eliyahu, Moseri, Eliyahu, Alif Lamed, together. Okay? Hey, see? Alif Lamed, this for you. Thank you. <laughs>